Let's compare the two different Nintendo Switch Joy-Con grips. What is up guys, my name is Chase and these are my hands. As I am recording this video, Amazon is currently running an incentive for Amazon influencers. So I'll be making a few videos just comparing two products of the same category. So I don't know, hopefully you like comparison videos. These are the two grips that you can buy for your Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers from Nintendo. And keep in mind that the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers are sold separately, but both both of these grips allow you to slide in your Nintendo Switch Joy-Con and have a more traditional feeling controller. However, there are some major differences between these two particular grips. The first one here is the standard Nintendo Switch Joy-Con grip. This is also the grip that will come with your Nintendo Switch system. You have the rail on the inside which your Joy-Con slides into. On the front there's the Nintendo Switch logo as well as some spaces for the LED on your Joy-Con controller. The other grip that we have here is the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con charging grip. It has a lot of similar things as the regular Joy-Con grip. Obviously the rail where your Joy-Con slides into, the four LED spots for your Joy-Con controllers. However, the big difference between the regular grip and the charging grip is that the charging grip allows you to plug in a cable and charge your Joy-Con in the grip. So a couple of differences here. The regular Joy-Con grip has this matte black plastic all around, whereas the charging grip has this translucent plastic all around. You can kind of see through it. But the major difference is that if you take a look at the top of the charging grip, there is a USB-C slot where you can take a USB-C cable and plug into a USB charger, and that will actually charge your Joy-Con while they are in the grip. If you take a look at the regular grip, there is no USB-C port at the top. Also worth noting is that the charging grip does have a higher MSRP than the regular grip. In my opinion, I think it is totally worth it to have a charging grip for your Joy-Con. It allows you to charge your Joy-Con without having to actually connect it to your Nintendo Switch console, which can be very helpful if you're playing on your TV and you want to charge your Joy-Con. With the regular Joy-Con grip, you won't be able to charge your Joy-Con while you're playing. So overall, I think the Joy-Con charging grip is a very nice addition to have with your Nintendo Switch system. And that's where I'm gonna cut the video on Amazon. <laughs> Now just exclusively for us YouTube nerds here, I think the charging grip should have always just been included with the Nintendo Switch system. I think it's kind of lame that we only got the regular grip where you can't charge your Joy-Con. Like obviously I guess it's so that, you know, it's, it's cheaper to get just the regular grip, but it's just kind of lame that they don't give you the actual grip where you can charge your Joy-Con with a regular USB-C cable. But anyway, once again, this video is just for our lord and savior Amazon. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys prefer prefer the regular Joy-Con grip or the Joy-Con charging grip. If you want to watch another one of my Nintendo Switch videos, feel free to check out the video below. For now, thank you so much for watching. My name is Chase and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.